Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you the real difference between a liquidity sweep, also known as a liquidity raid, and a broker structure. This is super, super important because a lot of people are mistaking a broker structure for a liquidity sweep and then wondering why they're being stopped out. But without forgetting to mention, before we jump on the charts, I want to let you know the free course is easy for you to access via the Discord link down below. So I'm going to jump on the charts now and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. Okay guys, so the first thing that we need to understand is, you know, straight off the bat, we need to know what liquidity is, right? Liquidity is the strength, the fuel, the volume behind the market to, you know, push price in a certain direction. So you've got to understand that when we're seeing price create new highs, new lows, blah, 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 this is going to be price taking the strength from from previous highs, from previous lows, taking that liquidity, then fueling the trend or the continuation, right? So your chart probably looks like that. If you're watching this video, it's because your chart most probably looks like this. So if I'm viewing this as someone who potentially doesn't know this approach, what can we see, right? We can see that price is continuing down, creating lows. So at the moment, for a beginner, you're looking at sales, prices in a downwards trend, we're creating new lows. But then you're seeing price come up and take in the high and thinking that that is a break of structure. So as price retraces back down into some type of POI over here, you're gonna be taking buy opportunities. But then obviously we continue to see the lows get taken and we continue to see the highs get taken. And then you're taking buys here again, the same as this trade. But the reason why price isn't buying is because price is taking liquidity. So this is the first external high. So that's the first point of liquidity. Price is taking that liquidity. This is the first external high. That's where we're going to see the liquidity get taken and we're going to continue seeing the buyers. There's only one position in the market where I will be looking at the market as a break of structure. 90% of the time, any type of structural high or low gets taken, I'm always automatically thinking is a liquidity sweep, where's price trying to go, why is it doing this and that, etc. So the main main confirmation for me to understand whether it is actually a true break of structure is if we see one of two things, right? We've got a point of interest, so we've got a higher time frame point of interest that price is tapping into, and then we see price react from that taking the new highs out right as soon as we start seeing the new highs after a reaction of the high time frame point of interest that then confirms to me that price is trying to react and continue in the opposite direction so that is one of the ways i'm thinking okay price is actually breaking structure now it's not taking liquidity to continue the trend right and the other way is say for instance we've got a valid point of liquidity here so we've taken that liquidity but it then continues to take this liquidity. It should not need to take that liquidity. If it's taking this external, it should not need to take two. So if price then continues up here, now I'm thinking, okay, we have enough liquidity because we've already taken external higher. We shouldn't have needed to do this. And now this is suggesting that price is trying to react and trying to shift, and we're gonna be seeing a shift in market, okay? So that's 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 the majority the basics pretty much put into you know an example so as we can see here right one way to understand where liquidity is is also by looking for mitigated order blocks if an order block is mitigated price will not react off of that so because price won't react off of that that order block now becomes our liquidity because if price isn't going to react above the low we're then going to be using the low as our liquidity. So as you can see here, I've got six or whatever this is, four or five lines marked out as what you guys may be looking at as a break of structure. Oh no, price has come beneath this low. That's a break of structure. No, it's not because that is our first point of liquidity, right? But then if we look to the left, it's already mitigated this order block. So then price is now not going to react on, uh, above this level. And then we look to the left again this order block auto mitigated this order block. So now we know price isn't gonna react above this level. And if we look to the left again, it's mitigated this order block. So now we know price isn't gonna to return to the upside from above here. And we continue to look, every single order block has been mitigated. 
So the first point of valid liquidity in this example is in fact this low here, right? So we now know that price is not going to buy until it's pushed beneath this level of liquidity. So that's why it's super, super important because now we know that price is creating these new lows and we understand that this isn't price trying to sell. This is just an internal retracement down to the liquidity sweep to then push up for the continuation, okay? So that is a super, super important for my inf piece of information. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to find you another example. So this is another good example, and this actually kind of touches base on inducement, right? So as we can see, if we're looking for sales, this is where we'd look from, because that's our order block. I'm not gonna go too much into that side of things, but if we have a little look, you may have mistaken the sell opportunity from here. So let's say you've mistakenly looked at this order block here, drawing that across, price is reacting. And this is one super, super important piece of information. You must listen to this because this is where you can save a lot of trades. Because if you see this certain thing and then decide to close your position, 90% of the trades, you're gonna be staying in profit or you would have been at break even and you've saved yourself from taking a loss. So, obviously, for price to continue in the direction, we need liquidity, right? So, say, for instance, this was our valid point of interest. We've seen price react from that. We started closing from beneath here. But then, as you can see, from the top to the bottom, we have not formed any liquidity. So, we have no liquidity here. So as price retraces, because every you know every single opportunity there needs to be a retracement. As we can see, price has got nowhere to retrace from. So obviously, price pulls back up inside of this order block. We see some type of sellish sales come in because people that like you I don't understand liquidity are trying to sell, right? So as you can see, that doesn't stick, and because it doesn't stick, we can see price takes the liquidity from the previous high so liquidity can look like anything just because it hasn't got liquidity here doesn't mean it's gonna you know continue up and this and that as you can see price has taken the first point of liquidity which is here right this is the first point of liquidity this is our inducement this is not a break of structure price is not creating a high to continue to the upside it's created a new high because it's inducing the previous high because it's taken liquidity from the previous high so that is one very very common entry concept that you can use it's something that i use on a daily basis not that i catch trades every single day but that's the main model that i'm looking at for opportunities on a daily basis what i want to see is i'll draw that out for you guys to screenshot study whatever you want to do what i'm looking for is a potential reaction from a point of interest I'm waiting for price to push down, leaving no liquidity, then when we see price start coming back up, I want the majority of people to start selling so that then price can induce quickly upwards, taking all the liquidity, and then my position is gonna be selling a lot faster because price is ready, because price has stopped out the majority of traders in the market, right? Um, so yeah, that's the main, main concept. Um, super, super important to understand that because you have to understand if price hasn't got liquidity anywhere in here, so what I mean by liquidity, I'll repeat it, is it hasn't got a lower high, so price hasn't taken the liquidity, now it's ready to sell. Now, because it hasn't got liquidity, it doesn't matter, this is our first point of liquidity, so that's completely fine. It doesn't have to be a liquidity inside of the range the top of the range can be the liquidity if there is no liquidity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video here. Obviously, any questions, let me know. Get in the Discord completely for free. Watch the course. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next video.